Hey everybody on YouTube, it's me, Flies18. I'm going to uh, explain, uh, this is my last instructional video probably, unless you really want to hear more about me trying to teach anybody anything. So, I'm going to try to explain scales, modes, and things that you should know. <clears throat> so we'll start out with everybody's favorite pentatonic. There's, uh, there's two pentatonics, there's major and minor, obviously, right? So when you think about pentatonic, you think five notes. Well, we're going to play six note because we're going to put the octave in there. But I mean, if you wanted to play the five, you just leave out the octave in there. So we'll start with um, I don't know E pentatonic or something, right? So we'll play uh, E major pentatonic. So what am I doing there? I'm doing E, F sharp, uh, C, G sharp, B. C sharp, E. Now you can leave that E out there so you actually have your pentatonic scale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 2, 1. So you, that's your major pentatonic. Now your minor starts off with that minor third. And it has this kind of box pattern to it. So. So you got E, G, D, E, G, A, B, D, E. And, you know, from there you can, you know, f figure out what notes uh, go all across the neck and, you know, figure out how to play pentatonic here or something. So... So that's that's the pentatonics. Now modes modes get really tricky really quick. So what they are is just they're they're scales on an on the one major scale. So well, if we're in G, that's Ionian, right? And then Dorian would be like starting that same scale in the second degree. You know, Phrygian would be like starting it on the third degree. And you know, you can go all the way up to G, but since I only have four strings, I can only do so much. But, you know, if you're going, you know, linear here, we'll start on Ionian, which is just major. Dorian, which is minor with a raised sixth. Has that weird now Phrygian is minor with a flat second, that's really weird. And then you have Lydian, which is tricky because it's so close to Mixolydian. I like I should have named. I just remember the one, three, four for that one. Mixolydian variation on that is uh, it's got the flat seventh. Lydian's got the raised fourth, and this has got the flat seventh. Easiest scale to do because there's one, two, four, right? And then you have your Aeolian, which is your basic minor scale. Locrian, which is your uh, it's the seventh, so it starts on F sharp. And it has a, it's a minor with a flat second, flat five. It's kind of weird. Because, I mean, you have this, like, ring. And then you have that weird stretch at the end there. And then your major. So you got G Ionian. This is for G. I mean, if you want to do it C, you just figure out, you know, C. What the scale is across the neck. But for G, it's G, A, B, you know, C, D, E, F sharp, G. And their respective scales.
is Lydia's location. So those are the modes in a nutshell. Now you have your major and minor, minor, major, major, sorry, major, minor. That's the way I do them. I mean, you can do them a different way, obviously. But um, there's this whole thing of like relative major and relative minor that gets people all thrown off and stuff. And when you think about it, if you have a guitar or bass, it's really easy and you can figure it out by thinking, oh, okay, that's okay. And I'll show you what the trick is. So let's say you're in G, G major. So what's the relative minor? Well, it's E. How do I know that? It's the sixth up. So if you have a G and you have that sixth right there, E, that's your relative minor. As a and if you're in E minor, what's your relative major? It's G. And if you're in me E major, what is your relative minor? It's G. So, you know, when you're... But anyway, so you just go up the sixth and go down the sixth to try to find your relative majors and minors. So if I was in the key of D, relative major would be, or relative minor would be B. E, C sharp would be my relative minor. So, I mean, you just go up these major six, and you know, you can go down to major six too. So if you're like in a key of D minor and trying to find a major, it'd be F going down. Just find a comfortable spot where you can figure out where it is. So if you want to use this E as opposed to this E, you know, whatever, whatever toots your horn. So, I don't know. I guess that's it. I can't think of anything else. If I left anything out, go ahead and send me a comment or something that says, hey, you fucked up, you idiot. So, hope you got some information out of it. And if not, I'm sorry. All right, peace.